In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to set up DaVinci Resolve, specifically using an AMD graphics card as opposed to an NVIDIA one. Now, there are lots of videos out there on how to do this using an NVIDIA card, but for whatever reason, nobody shows you how to do it on an AMD card. And I can already hear everybody in the comments talking about how oh, AMD sucks and so on and so forth. That's not what this is for. This is just gonna be a helpful tutorial on if you do have an AMD card and you wanna use DaVinci Resolve. Now I'm using Fedora 41 and I'm gonna show you how to install DaVinci Resolve, get all the drivers set up for your graphics card, and then that should be it. So without further ado, let's hop on over to the PC and I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do to get this set up. Real quick, I just wanna show you, this is what it's gonna look like if we don't install the AMD drivers before installing DaVinci Resolve. The first time you try and open it, you're gonna get this unsupported GPU processing mode. And then if we go into update configuration here, and then take a look at the actual settings that are located under memory and GPU, you're gonna see that the video card is not listed anywhere under GPU configuration. Even if I turn off auto, there's nothing to select here. And so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna walk through what you need to do to actually get hardware acceleration in DaVinci Resolve with an AMD graphics card. The first thing we need to do to install the AMD driver stack is we need to open up terminal. Now it looks like this, and if you've never opened it up before, it's gonna have an icon somewhere in your system tray or applications menu that looks like this. And then once we get that opened up, I want to walk through the commands that we're going to be sending. So every command that we send in terminal is going to be almost identical, meaning the first three parts are going to be the exact same. So it's going to start off with sudo dnf install, and it's going to be the same three for each command that we send. And the only thing that we're going to change is the very end piece. Now I want to walk through what this means. So sudo is something that's going to allow a higher privilege to our user on our computer. It stands for super user do, or sometimes it's often referred to as substitute user do. And all that means is it's just going to give, in our case, help HQ because that's the user on my computer, an elevated privilege set, which in Linux is root, and it's going to allow us to do things that we wouldn't be able to do with our normal user. The next part of the command is DNF, which stands for Dan yum, which is just the name of the package manager that Fedora and Red Hat based Linux distributions use. Now it's in charge of managing all of the software packages on the system, which includes installing, updating, and removing them. And then the last piece we have is a subcommand, which is install, and it's a subcommand of DNF, and we're basically just telling the package manager that, hey, I want to install a specific software package. The next piece is gonna be the only piece that we change in each command that we send, and it's just gonna be the name of the package in which we want to install. And I'm gonna give that to you, but it's gonna be the last piece that you'll see in each command that we send. So now that we got all of that out of the way, and hopefully everybody has the basics down, we're gonna send four commands to install our driver stack. And the first one is gonna be sudo dnf install rockum info. And it's gonna look exactly like this. You'll have it at the bottom of your screen and you also have it here in my terminal window. Once you have it all laid out, you're just gonna press enter or return. And then it's gonna go through and it's gonna search all of the repositories on your Linux system that you have installed. It should find the package and then it's gonna ask you if, hey, do you wanna install this? You're just gonna hit Y for yes and then you're gonna press enter or return again. And then it's gonna go through and it's gonna download and install it. When you're brought back to the prompt, then you're ready for the next command. And the next one is gonna be sudo dnf install rockum hyphen opencl. Now you wanna make sure that you're putting spaces between each one of these exactly like it is here on my screen. And then pro tip, you can press the up arrow on your keyboard and depending on which terminal you're using, it should bring up the last command that you sent and then you would be able to just hit backspace to delete the name of the package. That way you don't have to keep retyping out the entire thing if you don't want to. If that one looked good, just press enter and then Y for installation and we can move on to the third one where the last part is gonna be the hyphen CL info and then you're gonna do the exact same thing where you just press return and then we're gonna go ahead and get that one installed as well. If for whatever reason you get an error, just make sure that you typed everything exactly like you see it on my screen and try again and it should work 
without any problems. If you do have an issue, just put it down in the comments and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. Now we should be ready for the last one, which is gonna be Rock'em hyphen hip. This is gonna be the same process as all the previous ones. So you're just gonna press enter or return here and then you're gonna press Y if everything looks good to start the installation. The installation on this one's gonna take a little bit, so we'll be right back as soon as that's done. Now that the installation's done, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and reboot your machine before we proceed to the next step. So we're gonna go ahead and do that real quick and then I'll meet you right back here. Welcome back from rebooting your computer. Now we need to download DaVinci Resolve. And to do that, we're just gonna head over to the website. I'll put a link down in the description for you guys, and we're just gonna select the free download button. Now you have two options here. You can download the free version here on the left, or you can download the paid studio version here on the right. I'm gonna download the studio version, but the process for installing it is gonna be the exact same whether you do the free version or the studio version. If you want to do the free version, you are required to fill this out and register in order to download. If you do the studio version you've already registered, you can select the download only button in the lower left hand corner. Once the file is downloaded, we can navigate to our downloads folder. You're going to get a zip file and I'm just going to right click on that and then extract it. Once the file is extracted, you're going to get two files, a .run file and a PDF file. We're not going to open the PDF file because the instructions inside that are actually wrong. And then I'm going to show you what we need to do to actually install the .run file. We do need to install some dependencies first that will allow DaVinci Resolve to run, so I'm going to show you how to do that now. We're gonna install these dependencies using terminal, so we'll need to open that back up. And then once you get that opened, we're gonna type the command sudo dnf install, just like the last commands, but this time the package name is gonna be libxcrypt hyphen compat. And I put that here at the bottom of the screen. And so as long as everything looks exactly like it does on my screen, you can go ahead and hit enter or return. Now, because we rebooted our computer, you're going to have to type in your password again in order to get that root privilege. And then once you do that, we're going to go ahead and hit Y to install the software and then press enter or return. And then from there, if it installs successfully, we can move on to actually installing DaVinci Resolve. To install this, one might think that we could just double click the file, but you'll see that you get this error where it says that you have a missing dependency, which is a library called Zlib. And we actually already have that library. It comes pre-installed with Fedora, but Fedora is using a newer version of that library and it's under a different naming convention. And so DaVinci Resolve does not recognize this. So in order to install DaVinci Resolve, we need to go back to the terminal. And the easiest way to do that for everybody is gonna to be to go where this dot run file is in the folder, right click on it, and then select open in console or open in terminal. And that's gonna open a terminal prompt and it's gonna already be in the correct directory that we need to be in, in order to send the following command. Now, alternatively, you could just do a change directory directory like I'm doing here and you could just change it manually before we send the command but it's totally up to you right clicking and selecting open in console or terminal is far easier once you've navigated to the correct directory where you saved the file we're going to go ahead and send another terminal command to start the installation of DaVinci Resolve so we're going to type sudo and then we're going to type in all caps skip underscore package underscore check equals, and then the number one. And then from there, you're gonna hit the space bar, and then you're gonna type a period and a forward slash, and then you're gonna put the file name of the dot run file. Now there are a couple of different ways we can get the file name if you didn't write it down. You can go back to the folder location and you can just click and drag the file into the terminal window. And then you're gonna to wanna to make sure that we just remove the rest of the path that is loaded in here. So you're gonna hit backspace to delete the apostrophe at the end. And then when 
you do that, you're going to use the left arrow key to tab over to get the D at the beginning to be highlighted like this. And then you're just going to hit backspace to get rid of the rest of the file location. And then you want to make sure that you add the period and the forward slash at the beginning of the file name. And then you also want to make sure that you have that skip package check equals one before it as well. Now, alternatively, you could just go back to the file, right click on it and select properties. That's going to give you the file path with the file name at the top and you can just highlight the file name, right click and select copy and then go back to terminal and make sure that you clicked on terminal so that it's selected and then hold down control shift and then press the letter V and that will paste the file name into terminal and then you just need to add the dot run at the end of the file name as well you want to make sure that you have the skip package check equals one and then the period and forward slash at the beginning of the file name last but not least you can just write it down and then manually type it in as well which is what i'm going to be doing for the video as long as you have everything typed out and it looks just like I have here on my screen, we can go ahead and press enter or return. And that is going to start the installation process by running this installation file. Now you're going to get a prompt and it's going to say Q wizard. And then you're going to get a little prompt here that looks like the screen is hanging. And if you see both of these, that means that we have a GUI or graphical user interface that has opened up. And so this is going to look more like installing a normal application on Windows from this point forward. So now we can just click next through the prompts. If you have the studio version, I don't know if this is in the free version, but they do have this new uh, FX renderer. I'm going to go ahead and install that too. If you want to read more about it, you can read about it here. But if you don't have that option, you can just click next and then we can get through the actual installation. Once your installation has completed, you would think that we would be done, but for whatever reason, the team over at Blackmagic just does not like to make this easy for us. So if we try to open this up, nothing happens, the program doesn't load, and you're wondering what the heck is going on here. And so it turns out we actually need to remove some old libraries, but we don't want to uninstall them, so we're going to move them to a folder that we create, and I'm going to show you how to do that now. So in order to do this, we're going to use terminal again. I know everybody hates terminal, but after this video, you guys are all going to be pros and we need to change our directory. So we're going to go to the opt folder where all the resolve libraries are. So we're going to type CD for change directory space forward slash opt forward slash resolve forward slash libs. And then in there, we're going to make a new directory so that we can move all of the files to this. And to do that, we're going to type sudo mkdir for make directory space and then i'm going to name this folder disabled hyphen libraries but you can name it whatever you want it does not matter and then once you do that you're just going to press return if you've left terminal open it will just go to a blank prompt which means that it worked if you didn't you'll have to type your password in and then it should go to a blank prompt so from there we're going to go ahead and we're going to start moving the libraries into this folder that we created and to do that we're going to use the move command which is mv so we're going to type sudo space mv space and then the first library we want to move is lib glib Asterisk. Now the asterisk is important because it's going to move all files that start with this file name into that folder so that we don't have to do it individually. And we're going to do that for all of these. Now I don't want to read all of these to you. They're going to operate in the exact same function. So if that worked, you're just going to go to another blank prompt and then we're good to go to the next one, which is going to be libgeo asterisk. So L-I-B-G-I-O 
asterisk. As long as that worked out for you, we have one more to do, and then hopefully all of your terminal commands will be done, at least for this video. And so the last one that we're gonna do is going to be moving the libg module files to the disabled libraries folder that we created. So you're gonna do the same thing, sudo mv for move, and then libg module asterisk, and then the folder that you created if you did not name it the same thing that I did and then you're gonna press enter or return. Now from there, if that worked, then we can go ahead and we can close out terminal by typing exit, or you can click on the X in the corner of the window, and then we can try and open up DaVinci Resolve and see if it works. And it looks like it did work. Now for me, because I have the studio version, I'm gonna to have to type in a code here. I'm not gonna show that on screen. For you, if you did not install the studio version, it should open up to the window where you can create a new project. And that's it. I hope this was helpful. Peace.